Let me give you a Bible philosophy that teaches how to get whatever you want. That's the title of the next set of notes. How to get whatever you want from the Bible. Now again, I'm an amateur when it comes to the Bible. I'm not a pro. But this I can quote and I think that'll be sufficient. How to get whatever you want. Here's what it says if you're ready. It says, ask... That's it. End of notes. Ask. If there's one art in life to learn extremely well, that's got to be one of them. The art of asking. What does ask mean? Ask means, what do you want? And the formula is staggering. It says ask and what? A guy ought to look into that. <laughs> he says, yeah, but you work where I work by the time you struggle home. It's late. You've got to eat a bite of supper, watch a little t TV, get to bed. You can't sit up half the night, ask, ask, ask. And the guys be hungry. See, you've got to be better than a good worker. You've got to be a good asker. Now, let me give you three key points on asking and receiving. This can do it. Number one, asking is the beginning of receiving. Asking starts a unique process, mental and emotional. I don't even know how it works. All I know is it works. It's like pushing a button and all this machinery starts working. I don't know how, it just works. There's a lot of things you don't need to know how. Just work them. Some people are always studying the roots. Others are picking the fruit. I mean, it depends on what end of it you want in on. <laughs> Asking is the beginning of receiving, so start the process. Here's number two. Receiving is not the problem. Receiving is automatic. Now, if that's true, receiving is not the problem, what's the problem? Failure to ask might be one of your major problems. I don't know. Check it out. The guy says, oh, now I see it. I got up last year and hit it every day, but there's not a scrap of paper with my goals on it. Good worker, poor asker. So you've got to change that. Here's number three. Receiving is like the ocean. There's plenty, especially in California. <laughs> it's like an ocean here. Success is not in short supply. It isn't rationed, and you stepped up to the window and it was all gone. No, no, no. It's like an ocean here. Now, if that's true, what's the problem? Well, some people go to the ocean with a teaspoon. <laughs> Have you got the picture? See, what you want to do in view of the size of the ocean is trade your teaspoon for at least a bucket, and you'll look better down at the ocean. <laughs> Kids won't make fun of you, right? Okay, now there's two ways to ask and we'll wrap up goal setting, two ways. Here's number one, ask with intelligence. It didn't say ask intelligently, but I'm sure it meant that. Don't mumble, you don't get anything by mumbling. Be clear, be specific. Intelligent asking means how wide, how high, how soon, when, what size, what color, how much, Define what you want and describe what you want. That's powerful. In the weekend seminar we teach, goals become like a magnet. They pull you that direction. And the better you describe them, the more they pull. So ask intelligently. Here's number two. Ask with faith. 
That's the childish part of the equation. Believe you can get what you want like a child. Not an adult. Adults are too skeptical. So the formula really reads, make plans like an adult and believe in them like a child. And the most incredible things will happen. Just try it for 90 days. Just try it. You can always go back to the old ways. Just try it, just 90 days, 90 days. Now here's the last qualifying phrase on goal setting, as we promised to qualify everything. And it simply goes like this. Remember, you won't get everything you want. And we've already studied the reason for that. Simply, sometimes it hails on your crop and rains on your parade. It's that kind of planet. So you won't get everything you want, but if you will work this goal setting formula, you can get plenty for wealth and happiness. Okay, that's goal setting. We use it around the world. We recommend it. Now, maybe it won't work as well for you as it has for me. I don't know. Maybe not. But what if it did? You got to try.